Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily customize a very inexpensive mug with a vinyl decal. To make this decal, I use Tech Wrap Shimmer Adhesive Vinyl. So that is something that you're interested in, please continue watching. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Before we begin, I want to show you the vinyl that I use for this decal. I did use Tech Wrap Shimmer Adhesive Vinyl in the color white. You can purchase this vinyl in a different variety of colors and it does have a shimmery and smooth surface. I do have a discount code with Tech Wrap. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 at checkout for 10% off of your order. I'll link the Tech Wrap website down below in the video description and I'll also put my discount code there. So here I have already cut out my decal. I did cut it out using my Cricut Explorer 2 on the holographic vinyl cut setting. I did purchase this SVG cut file from Etsy from the shop Sincerely Barbie in case anybody is interested. I'll link it down below in the video description. Now that I have my decal cut out, I'm going to weed it out using my Tech Wrap weeding pen. You can find this weeding pen along with other weeding tools on the Tech Wrap website. Everything used in this video will be linked down below. I like to go in on one of the corners here and then slowly begin to remove this big piece of excess vinyl, being careful that I don't remove any of the important pieces. This video is sped up so you do want to be sure to take your time while doing this, especially when working with decals that have small cuts like this one. Now that I have my decal weeded out, I'm going to take some transfer tape. I'm going to take a piece that is the same size as my decal here and I'm going to place it on top using my squeegee to press down on the transfer tape to make sure my vinyl adheres on well to the transfer tape. I am then going to remove the backing off my vinyl. And now I have my decal ready to be placed on my cup. And here is the cup that I'm going to be using. It is a mug from Dollar Tree. I love being able to customize very inexpensive cups that I can give to someone as a gift or even sell. I'm going to link these same exact ones from Dollar Tree down below in the video description. And I'm also going to add an Amazon dupe for these in case you want to buy them from Amazon. I did clean my cup off with an alcohol prep pad just to be sure I had a clean surface. So now I'm taking my decal and I'm just trying to center this as best as I could. Once I find that center spot, I'm going to start pressing down on my transfer tape to make sure my vinyl adheres on well to my cup. I'm using my fingers to press down on my decal to be sure that it's adhering on well to my cup. I'm then going to remove my transfer tape. When I apply decals onto my cups that have small fine detail cuts or small lettering like the one I did on this mug, I like to apply some heat with a heat gun. This heats up the vinyl and that allows it to adhere on better to the surface. This heat gun is from the brand American Crafts and I did purchase it off Amazon. I'll link it down below in the video description and you can also find it linked on my Amazon storefront under Tumblr Making Materials. You do want to be sure that you're constantly moving the heat gun. You don't want to apply too much heat to a certain area because it will burn your vinyl. I like to apply heat on the outside of the cup and on the inside. And here is how my cup turned out. I really enjoy making these type of crafts where I can purchase a very inexpensive cup and customize it with a super cute decal. These type of cups make great gifts and they also sell really great. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do upload a new video every week. 
Thank you so much for watching.